This, Lucy, I have never worn this dress and I just found it, but can you imagine which color we're doing today? Um, white. We're doing white. And after last week, it was our most requested. Necklines is definitely in there, ladies, but white won overall. I'm sorry, just stop. This is new, who's it by? Oh my God, I gotta wear it now. This dress was given to me for my birthday about four years ago by my beloved and I lost it. I just couldn't find it. And I kept looking through my cupboards and I couldn't find it. And I just thought all sorts of things had happened to it. Unlike all my other dresses, I put it in a suit hanger. So I never looked there. And then I found it, it's by a liar. Uh. <laughs> and I got rid of most of my liar, but this I will never get rid of. We're all scared, I think, Lucy, about how to wear white so we don't get it dirty. Just be careful, you know, there is that sense you don't want small children with Nutella on their fingers. Don't be scared about getting it dirty because there are so many joys I'm gonna show about wearing white. But the first thing, Lucy, is which white am I? What, which white are you indeed? Yeah. No, you know what the first thing is? What yellow are you wearing? Tell me, Lucy. It's a very, very, very strong yellow. I don't actually know what I would say. Maybe it's a daffodil? It's kind of, it's like daffodil, yes, because it's not quite marigold and it's not lemon. It's lemon yeah. and daffodil have a baby. And then the flowers. I've worn this dress to many friends' weddings and I've always had a great time in it. It's got the little back. Such back. a pretty shape, Lucy. Detail and a pleated skirt and it's from ASOS. It was £30. It was such a bargain. Oh and I've mean, worn it and worn it and I love it. So it's like that's a precious dress. Since working with you, I've made much better makeup choices when putting my makeup on with this dress. So I what did you day. used to wear with it and what do you wear with it now? I can't remember what I used to wear with it, but I was looking in... Wigs went really well with one of the flowers and then Indy, of course, Yeah. Um, for the pink flower. Yeah, so I just picked it out and then there's a bit of green in this earring and green on the dress. So I was actually making more informed decisions about what I was styling with it. Oh my so. God, Lucy. You learned so many things at Trinity London. Thank God you're learning this. Oh, my makeup with this, by the way. I did a bit of Desire with Fortune and I did some Sasha. And generally when I wear white, I don't do a hugely smoky eyes. I just want to keep everything fresh. And the earrings of those old J Crew. But I think we should start off, which white are you? So should yes. we go to the rail? Let's go to the rail. Lucy, there's white and there's white. And I've got on the rail here, every element of what we categorize loosely as white. From the creams through to yeah. the sort of ecrus, soft white and white white. So cream is for a warmer skin tone. If you're a sort of redhead with freckles, caramel skin tones actually look lovely in cream. And then when you get through to the ecrus, I can kind of wear ecru, I'm better in just white white. Chloe is better in ecru than white white. Look at yourself in the mirror and think when I put it up, up, do I look washed out? So I'm going to give you some examples of how you wear white with white or white with off-white. Actually, Lucy, the first thing Whoa. is the right underwear. So there's three elements to underwear for wearing white. And I think it's just you've got to find your skin tone and find a brand that caters to your skin tone. But I know for one that Bodus, where I got this bra, they do four skin tones. Then in underwear, I get these from Wacko from Phoenix, Spanx, these friends here, Spanx themselves do do basic colors, but Heist do far better skin tone colors. And then we talked as well about my little nude slip, something I had made, but this is a net fabric you can buy in any haberdashery. So this you want to get in your perfect skin shade. I've got a lot of white dresses, like this Temperley one, which would be a little rude for me normally, you can't see my underwear and you still see the joy of that broadery anglaise. Every woman can find a dress like this. I tell you who does a good one every season, French Connection. Oh, little trick. Sorry, let me show you another trick with another white dress. But this one is yeah. from the Copples, which is another great brand. But I did the opposite with this one. It's very odd because this one was really thick everywhere. It had a white bit that went all the way down, Lucy. I didn't want to feel so hot. So I just actually cut here and I cut it at exactly the place of the line on the dress. And then it gave me that slight see-throughness at the bottom. 
Okay, I want to talk about the general merit of a white trouser suit. I mean, I could have worn this to start off with a t-shirt and then I might just do a bright lip. I got some mummer on now. I'd put the jacket on, but I'd still wear this as a kind of pared down look. Do you see this is slightly soft white and I've done the bright white combo. I think you can yeah. mix whites. So daytime, I might do that with the suit. And for night, Lucy, I've just put on a tiny little sleeveless top from Zara, some really old Miu earrings. I got bunny on my lip. I've actually done, this is as smoky as I'll get with white. It allows my eyes to pop with a little desire, but I haven't gone really like Empress Emperor. These are very old Terry de Havilland silver goldy wedges. But I, nice. I could then go anywhere in that. You know, I would go out to a sort of black tie event in this, Lucy. And I think that's a joy of a white suit. It stands out. When you buy trousers, a lot of people ask Lucy about the length of trousers. I do like this length, even though some people say it makes your legs look short. If I wear a high heel, which is a wedge, you don't want to totter on a skinny stiletto. Yeah. So that's why I really love a wedge with a slight crop ankle. It really crowns the outfit. Yeah. And also their cellulite busting because the fabric's thick enough that I don't need to wear the Spanx underneath because nothing is showing through. Okay, Lucy. This is an outfit I wear when I travel in the you summer. Traveling white? If I'm going on a long haul journey and I go into a hotter climate, I'll pack this because it's really light. It makes me feel I'm already on holiday. And the trousers are in fact cream, but they are totally crease free. If you can find this kind of floppy, silky, off-whitey white trouser, it will transform your wardrobe. And then this is my complete travel outfit, I'll show you. Let me just pretend I'm traveling for a second. I'll wear this hat. My accessories when I wear white are generally silver or gold. These are all the bags when I wear when I'm wearing white. That's my running around, traveling, but also comfortable and smart. I can dress it up with lots of pearl necklaces or my gold necklaces. If I wear lace, I like the sharp modernness of a complete unsee-through fabric underneath and that okay. contrast I really like. I know we're in summer for a lot of people, but ladies in Australia who are watching the show, people living in South America who are watching the show, people living in the Southern Hemisphere where it's their winter. Winter white. This is me with cream. It's a bit washing out. It's not so, a total disaster. No, it's not, but I feel it's just not the same as like that. I've put the white in to brighten the face so I can yeah. wear the cream. So I might then do a red. This is Rossi Lip to Cheap, which is a little bit, tiny bit less orange than Sweeney. It works a bit better. Yeah. If you're going towards a warmer white, a new suit cooler white, make your makeup a tiny bit warmer to compensate. You know, sometimes in the winter when I walk down, I'm in a bright color, it's great. But if I wear white, I'm bringing the summer into the winter. And so this is yeah. a very warm wool trouser from Mango. Yeah. This is my River Island shirt. And this coat is a 10 year old Celine coat. And then I might do a more wintry bag somehow. I might do like leopard skin. I have got a white coat and it takes a lot for me to wear it. Yeah. It's about the weight of your clothes. Like these are quite thick trousers, so they feel a wintry fabric. If I did this with a white silky trouser, it just wouldn't work. And also I make sure I wear a trainer, which is a little bit longer, so it never gets wet. But it is lovely. If you've got something that's a winter weight, consider winter white is what I would say. I've never thought about the weight of fabric before, that's yeah. such a good point. Let's talk white caftans. When I wear my makeup with white, I wear sheer shimmer so much. I'm now just putting Dido on. I literally do sheer shimmer and I do it everywhere. So Lucy, this is one of my favorite caftans for summer. I no longer wear tiny little beach dresses. So it's an all encompassing caftan with pockets. It's from Zara and it's perfect. But this thing can be so many things. You can dress a white caftan with so many pieces of jewelry. You have big fun bits of jewelry. It just changes the whole thing. It nearly changes it as a dress. I can do this look which one of the Trini tribers gave me. Just really fun. But then I want to go a night on the town. This is the dress of a thousand dresses. You know, just a little gold earring, sunglasses, that white belt from DVF and a little gold shoe. It's like the, the template for bringing accessories on holiday. You can take one dress, not get it dirty and just give three or four different looks. Or I could be doing a chic in town, getting that tonality of all of the topes and I think that makes it more urban. And then I'll probably put on with this a bit of VB. The shoes are Bottega Veneta, about 15 years old. That's such a great shoe to wear with white for my skin shade. 
yeah. and just having that neutral shoe which elongates your leg and it would just give you endless legs. Where are we going then for lunch, Lucy? Oh, I'll take me anywhere. <laughs> okay, just um, briefly want to chat, Lucy, about the right underwear for white trousers when they're thin. So these yeah. are really old Zara's. I've got a bit of a, had a bit of lunch today and they're quite thin, so I'm aware in the wrong light, you would slightly see cellulite. And it might make you think, you know, I'll never wear those trousers. These are actually wackle. Confidence in a pant. Doesn't matter the size of your bottom, ladies. You just want to not have the dimples, I think. But it just changes your whole sense of confidence. And I just want to say, ladies, when I wear white, is there an element to me that loves it and loves the sunshine and summer it brings? Hold on to that. Wear the right support underwear or underwear to give you confidence and dip your toe in it. If you feel like incredibly unconfident to feel you want to show the top half, this gilet is a great way to kind of think, okay, I just want to have a bit of body confidence. It does the trick. Sometimes white tops, Lucy, could be investment dressing if they're sort of silky white tops. So this is a Chloe one I got in the sale, but I've had it for about nine years, but I'm just going to show you how I layer it in the summer. So if I've got the body con, I might just do a jacket. I could turn it into a coat by just having the gilet over it. So it's become a sort of white coat. I'll switch it around so then I might just, you know, in the office on a hot day wear that. And then I might just put this on top and change out the layering so that it feels more of a layered piece. You want there to be some synergy in the way the lapels flow. Yeah, you're really questioning whether that's a jacket yeah. that was made like that. A quick thing on white shirts, shall we? I have classic white shirts I love for different reasons. In my shirt repertoire, I'll have a round-necked granddaddy shirt. Yeah. With, this is an old cos one with a nice poplin bit here. I wore this for so many years, many people might remember it. Classic and easy. I'll always have a shirt with a mad bit of detail where it, the drama is up the top. So I love a statement top. And I would do that probably with a bright lip just to bring it all zhuzhum. So this top is an old cost top, it has two bits in it. They do this quite a lot, but it gives you so much flexibility as to how to wear it. So the best thing for me is it's long at the back. So if I'm wearing a really cropped jean and I don't want my legs to look shorter and I've got a short jacket on and there's a distance, this is the bit that pops out from the jacket and doesn't let you know where my bottom ends of my legs begin. So if I wore this without this, it's kind of like it's too high for where my bottom is. If you were short bodied and long legged, it would sit beautifully. So by having this piece, it just allows me to wear the jacket, which is a little bit short waisted for me because it gives you more details. I picked up one necklace to show with it, but five came with me. I could do it softly there because if you don't like your tummy and you really think I don't want to show my tummy, to me getting a thinner fabric top like this with a with a kind of drape like that, which we've talked about a lot, then getting a fitted jacket over it will give you a beautiful shape. I would put this on a size 20 because it's about the proportions. So it's about the floppiness of the fabric, the floppiness of that top, the structure of the jacket, and a long necklace. Gosh, your legs look so long. If I broke it up with color, shortens everything. Continuous color is the tallest you will ever be. I'll wear a bit of sequin with white. Oh, yes. That's the thing, I will wear sequin with white. But this is a look I would wear for a smart dinner in the summer. I feel very inspired. Yeah, do you want to be wearing white now? Yes. And it is true, Lucy, I emphatically believe it. You can wear white with off-white. I might do creamy trousers, but near my face, I'll have my best white. Golden rule. Golden rule. Okay, okay so Lucy, next week we've got yes. a central summer wardrobe or shoes, everything you wanted to know about my shoes so ladies you've got to decide until next week bye, bye.